Hey Mountain Dew fans, Dew Fanatic 95 here. Uh, I just got off work. It's 11 o'clock on June 2nd. It's late at night. I'm really thirsty. I've got the thirst, so I thought, what better to quench my thirst than to do another Kickstart review, doing the final one for this year or until they release another Kickstart flavor. We already did the Pineapple Orange Mango. You can see that. It's on my channel. Uh, but today, it's all about energizing strawberry kiwi. Yes. Now, the other one, I didn't give a particularly favorable review. It was pretty mediocre. So, for this Kickstart, of course, I've already had it. I know what it tastes like. Let's just see how it goes. I'm going to pour it into a glass so that you can see the color, just like last time. Because I know some of you like that. There we go. It's got a nice cloudy pink tint to it. It's uh, not heavily carbonated. It smells like strawberries. Let's go for it. Okay. Once again, just a uh, trend with the Kickstart line. They're not too sweet. Only, uh, I believe, 12 ounces. Yes, 60 calories per can. So, a normal Mountain Dew is 170 per 12 ounce can. So, again, you won't have a, a lot of sugar rush with this one. It's lighter. Um, it's healthier for you. It's got the juice in it, uh, which normal Mountain Dew does. But this one has more. Um, as far as the taste goes, it's a light strawberry. Kiwi's not overpowering, so it's not too bitter. Um, compared to the pineapple orange mango, I quite enjoy this one in comparison. But when I'm going to the store, when I'm going to the Mountain Dew section, I'm immediately going to pick out the normal Mountain Dew, or a Live Wire, a White Out, a Code Red, a Voltage, all the normal flavors. Immediately, they're gonna, those are going to stand out instead of this one. And even some of the other Kickstarts, like the Lime one, I really like that one. So this one is not going to be, like, my uh, first choice. This is going to be something I choose, like, you know, just to mix it up on a day, or if there's really nothing else available to me. Uh, that's the best way I can describe this, dude. Yeah, it doesn't suck, but it's not particularly amazing. That being said, if you don't want to really drink Diet Dew, if you're trying to get healthier, this is a better selection for you, uh, whereas it's not got as much sugar, but you know, it's, it's, it's a nice medium. So, if you're looking to compromise, this is the way to go. I'm not uh, sponsor, sponsored by PepsiCo, so I can say whatever I want. And uh, for this one, it's just not overly appealing, but it's definitely a better one than the last Kickstart. So, go out and try it. You may think differently. I want to thank you for watching. Uh, as far as my next Mountain Dew reviews, I'm going to be doing Baja Blast. Yeah, but by request. I, would, I didn't do it last year because it, the flavor had been around so long since, you know, it had been a Taco Bell since, I believe, 2004. So, I'll, I'll be doing that by request. I don't, I don't know exactly what I'm going to add to it because it's been around so long. We all know what it tastes like. So I'll, I'll just do a little something brief with that. And I'll also be redoing the Sangrita Blast review. The previous one I had done was pretty popular, uh, or for my channel anyway. I'm not too big on YouTube. But I will be re-reviewing it because I haven't tr uh, reviewed it in cans. Because sometimes when you go to Taco Bell or any restaurant when they have fountain drinks... The syrup is uh, overpowering, there's not enough water, or maybe there's too much water, it's not carbonated correctly, so the box needs to be changed. A lot of variance can happen with uh, fountain drinks, so I will definitely be doing that uh, as a future review. And don't forget, Dew Shine is coming up, so lots of good Mountain Dew stuff in the future, and I hope to see you there. So, comment on this video. For this video, I want you to tell me what you thought about this? Would you drink it again? Does my description match your thoughts? And any other uh, 
questions or comments you have for me. So uh, thank you all for watching, and as always, do the do.